It's shutter day on the blog today, and I'll be showing you how to make your own board and batten shutters, and easily install them. Why would you buy fake, vinyl, ugly shutters when you can learn to build your own fully functioning real shutters? Keep watching and I'll show you how to do it yourself in my latest video, DIY Board and Batten Shutters. Real shutters fit inside the window well, so I had to take some quick measurements, do some calculations to make sure my shutters were about a quarter inch smaller than the opening, and head out to the lumber yard. What's going on, John? For this project, I'm using some pre-primed cedar. I've got some 1x6s and a 1x8, and that's going to help me make the boards and battens on my shutters. First thing I did was cut everything to length. I determined I needed some shutters that were about 16 and 3 quarter, which meant I was going to have to rip one of these 1x8s down just a little bit so I could fit that in the middle, and then I've got two 1x6s. Then I wanted to cut my battens. I cut these with a 45 degree bevel on either side to uh, make sure they fit easily, they open and close easily, and to give them a little bit of styling. Make sure you sand all the rough edges from the cuts. I'm laying out my boards. I've got the 1x8 that was ripped down in the center. Put a little ledger on the side of the table so I could get everything level and even, and then I lay out my battens. I'm putting these about six inches from the top and the bottom and make sure everything's square. Mark it, and then we're going to nail it off with some 15 gauge nails, one and a quarter inch. I like stainless steel because you don't have to worry about it. I want to make sure I'm putting two nails in each board. And I decided to put some nails on the back side. I angled these so that I could get a little bit more grip because I wasn't using any glue here. I want to make sure these didn't come out. I was going to have to set the nails and then fill them with some standable wood filler. After the wood filler had time to dry, came back and sanded everything with 80 grit sandpaper. Looking back, I probably should have used 120 because this pre-primed cedar is super smooth and after painting, the, I had some sanding marks show up. So next time, I'll remember to use 120 grit. And it was time for paint. The paint scheme on my house is black for windows and doors, so I'm just going to go with that same black. And I rolled it on quick little with a little whizzy roller, and then came back and tipped it off with a brush. See the little bubbles from the whizzy roller? This brush gets everything smoothed out, and then once it dried, I had to do the sides obviously, but once it dried, everything was nice and smooth, almost like a sprayed on finish. When you're painting like this, I like to keep it up on blocks, and then I come through with a rag and wipe any of the drips off that you can see. Now it's time to watch the paint dry. And post on Instagram, of course. Alright, these are the hinges I'm using. These are called strap hinges. These are 10 inch offset hinges. They come with the hinge part and the lintel part, which is what attaches to the building. I'm not gonna lie, the shutter hardware is fairly complex, and I bought these from House of Antique Hardware, and they were super helpful. I just told them what kind of shutter I'm getting how I plan to use it, and they told me this is the size, this is the offset I need. Installing them isn't hard, but picking them out sure is. Once the straps are attached, you can set your shutter in place in the window, and then just place the lintel in there, put one screw in, remove the shutter, and then put the final two screws in. It's the easiest way to set these lintels so you know where they go. No measuring here. After I put both lintels on, it was time for the shutter dogs. 
shutter dogs are like tiebacks. They hold the shutter in place when you don't want it opening. Easy breezy. So what's it look like when you're done? Just like this. Perfectly sized dimensional shutters that aren't glued to the side of your house. You can open them when you want, close them when you want, heck, you can even paint them to match your dog. Did you like this video? Of course you did, because old houses are awesome and so are you. And you love fixing them up yourself instead of paying other people to do the work for you. So why don't you click on one of these other videos and learn another skill? Or click subscribe so you can learn everything as it comes out. Either one's a good choice. Till next time.